Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Ugreen 140 watt Nexo charger. Um, I mean, this is the charger right here and just taking a look at the box real quick. Uh, nice, nice box. I mean, honestly, uh, Ugreen does make some nice product boxes, as weird as that sounds. Uh, as you can see, you have the 140 watts right there. Uh, GA and fast to show that this charger does feature gallium nitride which allows the charger to be smaller while outputting tons of charging power and over at the back of the box uh, you do get these specifications USB-C1 is the port that's able to output 140 watts while USB-C2 maxes out at 100 watts and, USB and the USB-A port uh, maxes out at 22.5 watts uh, yeah max output overall is 140 watts included in the box is a 1.5 meter um, USB-C to USB-C PC cable that's about like four feet and 11 inches I believe I think I think I, I'm not too sure um, but anyways yeah it is a high quality cable honestly they did a good job with this cable um, you know it's braided it just feels really good um, yeah I mean overall just a high quality cable this isn't some sort of cable that, that they just um, went cheap with and just included in the box this is a well-built cable um, and you can just feel it uh, you also get the manual in the box and another, another thing about the manual is that they give you the uh, power allocation uh, power distribution power allocation however, oh, however you want to call it on the manual and uh so yeah i mean this is the single port charging to show uh how how much uh, wattage each of the ports are able to output when you're charging a single device at a time over on this side uh you do get examples of two port charging and three port charging so you know the more devices you charge simultaneously the less power you get from each of the ports but even with that uh, each of the ports are still going to be able to uh, output tons of charging power you know you can end up fast charging three devices at the same time even while charging you know three devices simultaneously as you can see uh, USB-C 1 would output 65 watts USB-C 2 would output 45 watts and the USB-A port would output 22.5 watts so I mean we're going to be testing out this charger in this review but yeah this is good to know that they included the uh, power distribution on the manual rather than uh, having to look at the uh, Amazon product page. Um, and yeah just taking a look at the uh, charger itself right over here. Oh yeah I mean it looks really good. I, saw, I mean like charger is it? It's just a charger I know but um, you know gallium nitride chargers so like gallium nitride power, power delivery chargers they do tend to look aesthetic depending on depending on the design and this charger does look pretty premium especially with that silver and silver on this side and the black in the middle in terms of the size of the charger it does have a 2.9 by 2.9 by 1.3 inch form factor and it weighs about 10 ounces and, see, and yeah as you can see the uh, usb a port and two usb c power delivery ports uh in order to output the full 140 watts from usb c1 you do need to use a usb c to max safe 3 cable which is going to be compatible for a macbook laptops like the macbook pro i believe from uh, apple i'm not too sure i'm not too um uh, familiar with apple products but that, that's actually the only way you can use the full 140 watts is by using a usb c uh to max safe 3 cable uh just something to know uh they do say that on their amazon product page i did have to look that up just to make sure so yeah i mean but the good news is the max output is still 140 watts distributed from all from all three um charging ports so i mean yeah i mean if you have a um, macbook that can use the 140 watts this is a very good choice to go with and yeah just take a look at this side you have the 140 watts right there on this side there is the specifications it does have a foldable plug thankfully as you can see take it right out and put it back in really nice and yeah overall this seems like a really premium charger and we're gonna get to testing it out right now let me get some devices together um like phones and laptop and uh also i'm gonna probably use this uh charger to recharge a uh, power banks which uh you know, which have a uh, you know high input power like that excitrus power bank that i reviewed and uh yeah let's get to testing it out now all right you guys so just back with the uh, ugreen 140 watt nexo charger i've currently got uh, two phones and a laptop charging uh, the, this Galaxy A51 is fast charging from the uh, USB-A port right at the top. This uh, Galaxy Note 9 is charging from uh, USB-C2 right over here in the middle. Yep, fast charging. And this Lenovo laptop is charging as, at its max speed from uh, USB-C1. The bottom port right over here at 26 watts. And uh, so yeah, I mean, this is what I expected. Honestly, there are no surprises here. But I also wanted to test out uh, recharging power banks, which have a high input power. So let me get some... Uh, so that, yeah, let me get some um, power banks to test out with the uh, USB-C ports to see how much uh, power we're able to um, output from this uh, Ugreen wall charger. Because I mean, this test right here is a pretty light test, honestly. But uh, yeah, let me grab some power banks to uh, test out. 
All right, you guys, so just back with the INU B63 power bank, I believe, which has a 65 watt uh, max input and this Excitrus Nitro Charge 120, which has a 100 watt input. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a more uh, power heavy uh, test. And I'm just going to plug in this Excitrus power bank first to see uh, what input we get um, because it should be 100 watts because I'm recharging it from that USB C1 port. Um, but we would get the same results, I think, from USB C2. But yeah, I have no other devices charging it right now. It's just this uh, Excitrus power bank recharging. And yeah, I mean, it should, yeah, there we go. Uh, about 100 watts. I mean, that's that's what you can expect. If this is like 100 watts, you're still going to be a few watts off. But yeah, that's cool. I mean, it works how it's supposed to. Um, at least the USB-C one does. And let me connect this uh, INU uh, power bank to see if the wattage of the Excitrus power bank does drop. Um, and it should, I believe, because we're going to be charging two devices simultaneously. Uh, and yeah, there we go. And yeah, the go. Oh, yeah. So we got the INU power bank recharging right there, and the wattage did drop down to about 65 watts because the, yeah, the USB-C one port does drop down to um, 65 watts when two devices are charging from USB from both the USB-C ports. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's good news. Okay, uh, so we got two of these power banks charging, and let me connect this Galaxy Note 9 to the USB A port and we have uh, fast charging going on right there. Yeah, so we got two power banks charging. This one's 65 watts. This one should be should be charging at 45 watts, I believe. And we have a Galaxy Note 9 charging at about 18 watts. Uh, that is the max input speed, I believe, of the Note 9. But uh, let me just test out the charging speed of the uh, INU power bank right now. So we know that this is gonna be 65 watts of input power going on uh, when charging three devices simultaneously. And so, yeah, let me just take this meter off i do need to get i do need to get another USB C uh meter so i'm not uh constantly taking the meter off and on and it's kind of annoying i should have probably done it before i uh did this test but oh well i'll probably order another meter after this video there we go so yeah i mean we already know this is recharging at 65 watts for the excitrus power bank and yeah as i was as i was saying um this is recharging at uh 45 watts you know 42 watts uh, basically the same thing uh, and yeah, that's what you can expect. You can easily, uh, you know, charge two phones. I mean, you can easily charge two laptops and a fast charger phone using that USB-A port with this Ugreen uh, wall charger. And uh, also, I forgot to mention that this uh, Ugreen charger does feature programmable power supply, that PPS super fast charging at 105 watts from either USB-C 1 or USB-C 2. So yeah, I mean, 105 watts of super fast charging for compatible devices is great. It gives you a wide range of devices to fa super fast charge. And um, yeah, also let me get my Galaxy S20 to test out that super fast charging just to make sure that it does feature that uh, charging from the two USB-C ports. All right, you guys, so just back with the uh, Galaxy S20, I'm gonna uh, try super fast charging it from that USB-C one port. Also, I still have the Accenture's power bank charging from USB-C two and the Galaxy Note 9 um, fast charging. I think it's fast charging. Yeah, still fast charging, still fast charging from the uh, USB-A port. But let me just go ahead and get, connect this uh, S20 right here. And yeah, super fast charging. No problem right there. So it should be uh, charging at about 25 watts. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Let me just check the charging speed for the Accenture's power bank. It did drop down a little bit, I think because you know, we're charging three devices simultaneously and especially for this uh, S20 uh, charging at about 25 watts. But let me just double check on that um, charging configuration real quick. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, the Excitrus power bank is charging at about 45 watts and it does fit the uh, charging uh, distribution um, from USB-C 2 because the Excitrus power bank is charging from USB-C 2. Uh, USB-C 1 is outputting 65 watts, but we're charging the S20. Uh, from there and the usb a port right over here is outputting 22.5 watts and that is fast charging the galaxy note 9. so i mean yeah power distribution does work as it's supposed to because when i started charging the s20 the uh charging speed for the citrus power bank did drop uh, a bit down to about 45 watts from uh 65 watts and yeah there we go 
All right, guys, so just taking a look at the price real quick at the time of uh, making this review, uh, the charger is $120, a pretty steep price, of course, you know, this is a charger, but you know, it's a high end charger with 140 watts of uh, max output power. You do get a included USB-C to USB-C cable that is premium. It has a premium feel to the cable. Um, you know, you get the gallium nitride uh, technology that makes the charger smaller, uh, two USB-C ports, a uh, USB-A port. Even when you're charging three devices, simultaneously from this charger you can still uh charge two laptops and fast charge this phone from the usb a port um you know this is a premium charger uh from ugreen um also the brand itself ugreen they've they've made their name in like recent years you know they've they're on that same level as a uh, anchor in my opinion but you know their prices are slightly lower i believe i really haven't looked at anchor chargers too much right now because man they're expensive anchor has like become the brand for charging at this point you know looking for alternative brands um when it comes to charging electronics is going to be necessary for like you know more affordable chargers and uh, ugreen is a good option of course with this charger you're still spending quite a bit of money with 100 with 120 dollars but yeah i mean i just wanted to show you guys the price and give my input on the price um does it make sense yes but of course you know if it, if it fits your budget or not that's on you um but yeah there we go all right you guys that is a review for the ugreen 140 watt next ode power delivery charger uh do i like this charger yeah i mean it it does what it's supposed to do i mean you know it was able to um fast charge those power banks simultaneously we were able to like you know change the power allocation depending on how many devices we were charging at the same time charging two laptops from the USB-C ports and fast charging a phone from the USB-A port is going to be no problem for this charger of course i didn't have two laptops to charge with so that's why i was charging a uh, power banks and yeah i mean i think it's a good charger it is a bit warm right now because i was just charging those uh power banks at quite a high output speed but other than that uh the charger is good it is it is expensive also if you find a need for this type of uh, charging power it is a good choice but you know there are plenty of other chargers from ugreen and other brands that are lower in cost but may not have the same charging output but yeah anyways um i will have a link to the product page down in the description below as well as a link to the review article because i did write a review for this charger at a uh, chargerharbor.com and i'll leave you a link to that down in the description below and i will see you all on the next review all right goodbye